Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x to the power of 4 is equal to 4, to find the values of x from this equation. So first we we'll take this 4 into the left side by minus 4 in both sides. So it will be x to the power of 4 minus 4 is equal to 4 minus 4 is 0. Then in the next step, from here on the left side, we make this in form of a perfect square. So x power 4 into square, it is x square bracket square. Then minus 4 into square, it is 2 square, is equal to this 0. Then from here, in the left side, it is in the form of a perfect square. So we'll apply a perfect square rule, which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b bracket bracket a minus b bracket so when we compare a square with x square bracket square then a is equal to x square and when we compare b square with 2 square then b is equal to 2 then we'll apply this form so it will be a plus b is x square plus 2 so x square plus 2 bracket then bracket a minus b x square minus 2 then bracket is equal to this 0 then in the next step from here we have two solutions whereas this is the first solution which is x square plus 2 is equal to 0 and this is the second solution x square minus 2 is equal to 0. Then to solve from this first solution, we take 2 to the right side. So it will be x square is equal to negative 2. Then we'll apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel with square, then it will be x is equal to, in here it will be plus or minus square root of negative 2 is 2 times negative 1 then it will be x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 times square root of negative 1 it is i so from here we have two solutions because of plus or minus then to solve from this second solution or the second case we'll take negative 2 to the right side so it will be x square is equal to 2 then we'll apply square root in both sides so this square root will cancel with this square then it will be x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 so also from here we have two solutions because of plus or minus therefore the first value of x is equal to when it is positive it will be this square root of 2 and the second value of x is equal to when it's negative to be negative square root of 2 and the third value of x is equal to from here when it is positive it will be this square root of 2 i then the fourth value of x is equal to from here when it is negative it will be square root negative when it is negative it will be negative square root of 2 i so these are all the four values of x in this our problem if we solve in another method from our problem which was x power 4 is equal to 4 by applying fourth root in both sides so as to find the values of x so it will be x power 4 we apply fourth root is equal to 4 then we apply also in here fourth root in both sides so this fourth root will cancel with this power 4 then it will be x is equal to in here fourth root is same as power of 1 over 4 so it will be this 4 then power of this fourth root it is power of 1 over 4 then it will be x is equal to 2 is 2 square then times this power of 1 over 4 now to simplify this will cancel by 1 and this by 2 
So it will be x is equal to 2 power of 1 over 2. Whereas power of 1 over 2 is square root. So it will be x is equal to square root of 2. Now in here we have we got only one value of x. Which is this the first value of x. But we miss the other three values of x. So this second method is not, effic is not efficient method. This first method is the best method. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.